Hey guys, Psychic Pictures here, and welcome to Let's Review Anime. Just as a warning with the anime I'm reviewing today, there is no English dub. If you watch it, it is strictly English subtitles. With that said, let's talk about Omomori Himari. This is an anime that I had people vote on for which anime I should watch along with the next, watch next, along with the next review. A guy named Yuto and a girl named R Rinko, Rinko, sorry, are friends and like how their lives are going and enjoy each other's company in their normal lives. Seriously, this is the start. Just you, just Yuto and Rinko chatting and really doing normal-ish things that humans do. One day on Yuto's birthday. A girl named Hamari shows up, and soon Yuto realizes that his world has turned upside down. When, at school, Yuto's best friend gets controlled by a demon and tries to kill Yuto. Hamari then steps in, and to Rinko and Yuto's surprise, Hamari releases the demon from Yuto's friend and kills it. Himari then explains later that demons will be coming after Yuto since he is a demon slayer, and that Himari will protect Yuto until his powers fully awaken. Yuto doesn't remember much of his childhood when he lived with his grandparents, so he has no idea who Himari is, or being a demon slayer. Yuto quickly figures out that Himari's words are true, and tries to both help and hinder Himari with dealing with demons. I say help and hinder because Yuto wants to live with demons peacefully and Himari is a killing machine to anyone that harms Yuto. In short, Yuto al only allows Himari to attack the dangerous demons while trying to help by trying to protect Himari. I love this setup because throughout the story you see what Himari would do to protect Yuto. This in turn has Yuto want to protect Himari at all costs. Yuto just wants to live a normal life, but these demons are making it difficult. Yuto also wants to make peace with the demons and demon slayers, and won't attack demons unless provoked. He himself doesn't want to kill or see killing, and it is cool to see his intelligence come through. I said it before in my top 10 anime characters list, and I'll say it again. Himari is one of my all-time favorite anime characters. Her loyalty to Yuto is so great, their bond is so powerful, and it makes sense why she will go to the lengths that she does to protect Yuto. Yes, Himari develops a crush on Yuto, but she never lets it get in the way of her loyalty. Well, she tries. To, at least. Also, the fact of her being a cat makes sense. I just love to see Himari work, and if you think risking everything you have is enough for loyalty, you would be dead wrong with Himari's character. I won't say what, but I will say the third arc is the best thing about this anime. Yuto is also a great character. His determination for things to go on like normal is amazing in the first few episodes. This eventually leads Yuto to developing and accepting the reality that he is a demon slayer and that he will have to kill demons one day. Again, looking at the third arc. He is so kind and generous that he will stop at nothing to have his vision become a reality. This vision to have demon kind and humans coexist and live in peace. This is greatly shown because in one episode, Himari's about to kill a demon that was trying to kill Yuto, but Yuto steps in and saves the demon. How powerful is that? Yuto may be a wimp for the first few episodes, but he grows into a great character. 
Now, I don't have any characters in this anime that I don't like. I like all these characters, but there are some that I would say I don't like as much as the others. For this, I'm not counting side characters that are just there as stability for Yuto's life before the Demon Slayer life found him. With that said, let's talk about the characters I liked the least in Omamori Hamari. Kuisu is a great character, but I don't like how she is portrayed in this anime. When Kusu joined Yuto's life, when Yuto was living with his grandparents, she had the mindset of being but Yuto's betrothed because their parents set it up. Their, well, their families set it up. <clears throat> they have good chemistry, but Kusu has a nasty habit of wiping out all demons she sees. When Kuisu finally debuts, she is solely set on making Yuto hers no matter what. It's not that she doesn't have a reason for this, but I think her love for Yuto is... a little too forced in my opinion. Yes, they have chemistry and they made a promise as kids, but that's about it. Nothing really romantic happens between these two and it feels rushed. They had time to develop why Kuisu loves Yuto so much, but they don't use the time for that. They had the time, but they did not use it. Sorry to say this one, but Liz, or Lizlet, is not a good character in this anime. Don't get me wrong, I like, I still like her innocence, but it is forced how Lizlet wanted to help Yuto but is held back by her will not to fight. This character is just there for boobs and nothing else. She doesn't have many appearances or lines in the anime after her debut, and she runs into the face of danger even when she... She runs in the face of danger even when she wants to help. True, Rinko does this in a similar fashion, but... Rinko doesn't run from a fight, even if she can't do anything to help. Lizlet do just doesn't have that same quality, and it hinders her character because of it. The environments here are gorgeous. The environment of Japan is well done, and the environment of Yuto's grandparents' homeland is really well done. I love the visuals when Himari looks up out at the world on the roof because you see everything from above and it is beautiful. The character designs are spectacular and the show get and shows the great aspects of each character. The animation could be a little better, but I still love the animation. The character cast, as I said earlier, is also great. Not one character in this show that I don't like is in it a lot. Not one character in this show that I don't like that is in the a lot of episodes. The characters I don't like don't have much focus and I like that. The fan service moments are fantastic in this anime. They don't distract from the story, they don't take away from anything, and if they are shown, in an important scene, they are usually covered up as to not distract as much. This is how fan service should be done. One gripe I have with this anime is the character interactions. With Yuto, the character interactions are great, but the others are not that interesting. Even with Himari Kuisu and Rinko, their interactions with each other are full of yelling at each other about Yuto's affections and how to protect him, how they protect him. These interactions could be better, but when it is time to be serious, the interactions change for the better. Overall, Omamori Hamari is great. I love it. The character interactions might not be perfect, but the rest of the anime is just too good that I can overlook it. 
The fight scenes are great because they all there is always something to lose. The characters are great, and the tone of the anime is perfect. Yes, some characters seem to have forced personalities, but for the most part, the characters develop out of that rut that they started off with. I love the story and Yuto's emotions to drink it all in. Great anime that I've seen multiple times. And I'm sure I'll watch it multiple times in the future. I only recommend this anime to people that are okay with seeing almost naked girls in pan and panty shots, but love anime and drama. This anime is great in those regards. This has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time.